Rapunzel is going to become a mom. How can you make a crib, busy board, and toy shelf for her baby? Watch our new video to find out. Poor Rapunzel. Your face is all dirty and your hair is a complete mess. We need to help you. Let's fix the doll's hair. Brush it. Choose the right outfit. Put on trendy flats. Divide the hair in three parts. Her hair is ready. <laughs> I love flowers. Pink and purple are my favorites. Cut out a decorative flower. Cover the paint on the doll's forehead with it. Secure the flower and mask the paint with a flower petal. Decorate the braid with a plastic rose. Choose flowers of different shapes and colors. Make a flower wreath and then add even more flowers to it. My hair is perfect! And my braid looks like a bouquet! <laughs> it's a magical feeling! We need to make a dress. Outline it on a piece of white fabric. Cut it out. Sew the pieces together. Turn it right side out. A basic dress is ready. Let's add some tulle. Cut out a piece. Sew it. Add the second layer of tulle. Attach it to the waist. Add straps. <laughs> Make a belt. My dress looks so magical. I love it. The baby needs a diaper. Let's make it out of sticker ribbon. Draw holes for the legs. Cut. Shorten it. Remove the protective cover. Glue the diaper on. Add tape to the sides. Baby, here's a brand new diaper for you. Now you can feel comfortable and fall asleep. Take purple foam paper. Use textured and regular foam paper. Choose a cloud-shaped sparkly sticker. Glue it to a sheet of foam paper. Outline it with a marker and draw a bigger cloud. Cut it. Cut a cloud out of textured foam paper along the outlines. Stick it on, but leave a sticker. Shorten a piece of a pipe cleaner. Put it on the cloud in a shape of an arch. String different shaped beads on the thread. Now we have a drop shaped rattle. Tie the rattle to the arch. Add other hanging rattles. Attach them to the arch. This play mat looks like a floating cloud. My baby can play with these sparkly rattles all day long. Let's make a stacker toy. Attach a star-shaped bead to the edge of a toothpick. Add different sized beads. Remove the extra material. Apply hot glue. Put up a toothpick. Remove a smaller star from the top. Add beads from biggest to smallest. The stacker is ready! My baby can't wait to play with it! Take a three compartment sauce container. Cut the two smaller containers. Remove the protective covering from a sheet of glittery foam paper. Cover the outside of the bigger container. Make cuts. Cover the sides. A crib frame is ready. Take a sock. Put it on the bed frame. Cut out the top part. Cover the bottom. Straighten a flexible wire. Measure the length you need. Bend the edges and round them. Apply hot glue to the sides of the crib. Secure the wires to create sturdy legs. Attach smaller containers to the bottom. Choose a ribbon of a matching color. Cover the edges of the container. Add pom-pom ribbons to the sides. Cover a wooden sign that says princess with white acrylic paint. Add liquid glitter. Put the baby accessories into the bottom compartment. Diapers, wet wipes, a book, and a bottle. The baby needs her favorite toy. A crib for a little princess is ready. It's time to go to bed. Sweet dreams, baby. Choose some rhinestones. Stick one rhinestone to double-sided tape. Remove the protective cover. Add one more rhinestone. What a sparkly bottle! 
The baby is tired of playing. Time to take a nap. Go to bed, baby. I'll bring you a bottle. Now baby is fed and ready to sleep. Cut a satin ribbon. Burn the edges with a lighter. Pull the thread and undo the ribbon. Apply hot glue to the back of the baby's head. Secure the ribbon. Add threads along the hairline. Part the hair. My baby is a mini-me! And she has long hair, too! Let me brush it! Then I'll make a braid and decorate her head with a tiara! Make a circle out of flexible wire. Cut it. Fold a piece of see-through fabric. Sew it. Tighten it. Put a wire through the edge. We made a canopy! Cover the seam with sequin ribbon. Add ribbons to the sides. The canopy is ready to protect our princess! This comfy canopy will protect the baby's eyes from light! Sweet dreams! Take some book binding board and make outlines. Cut it. Cover with a metallic shade of acrylic paint. Paint it with a roller. Look at the shiny board! Take alphabet beads. Cut a piece of wire to fit. Add beads. Make the word mood out of letters and hearts. Attach the wire to the board. Glue on some folder paper. Add leaf-shaped beads to a thin chain. Shorten the chain. Add a plastic flower. Add a sequin ribbon. Cut a piece of ribbon with rhinestones. Glue it to the board. We made a busy board for our princess. The baby loves playing with her busy board. She can make words, turn the pages, and play with beads. Baby needs to practice her fine motor skills. We have so many bright flowers. Let's choose this one. Put a flower into a shampoo bottle cap. Secure it with hot glue. This ribbon looks like a pretty vine. Add hot glue to the sides. Cover it with a ribbon. Remove the extra length. What a nice little stool. Something's missing. Decorate the ribbon with plastic flowers. That's much better. I love it! This flower chair is a perfect decoration for the nursery. It has everything my baby loves. Look at these pom-poms. Pick the right color. Apply universal glue. Connect the pom-poms. We made a cute little pillow. Take foam paper of different colors. Make outlines on a piece of foam paper. Round the edges. Cut out two identical pieces. Attach the side parts. We made a big frame! Press in bend. Attach it to the main part. Add a loop. Make a small clasp. Glue pockets to the sides. Use an accessory chain to make a handle. Apply hot glue to the sides. Secure the chain. Decorate the bag with flowers. I can put everything I need in my bag. Diapers, bottles, and toys. I'll add a flower and I'm ready to go! Do you want your bottle, baby? Here you go! This bag is also great for a picnic! I can bring some snacks and some toys for my baby! Remove the cap from some lipstick. Put double-sided tape on a sheet of foam paper. Cover the cap. Cut out a black piece. Cut a semicircle out of glittery foam paper. Draw a circle with a compass. Then cut it to the middle. Join them! We made a flat cone. Add a taller cone to the top. Add a black piece as a window. Choose a pin with a round head. Remove the point. Add a pin head to the top of the roof. Now you have a small tower. Make outlines on a cardboard sheet. Round the edges. Shape it like a boat. Cut it out. Take cardboard strips. Bend them. Take sheets of veneer. Apply hot glue to the cardboard. Attach it to the veneer. Cut it out. Glue cardboard strips to some veneer. Connect the main part with the sides. Decorate the inside and the outside with veneer. Paint over the attachment points. Apply hot glue to a cardboard strip. Shape the shelves. Add a metal decoration to the top edge of the boat. And to the bottom edges as well. Let's add some toys! 
The baby can choose her favorite toys, take them out, then put them back all by herself. What a nice room for a little princess. It has everything she needs. She can play here and relax too. There's a soft pillow for sleeping on. I'll tell you a fairy tale about a princess who lived in a tall tower and waited for her prince. What did you enjoy the most? Rapunzel's braid? A baby mat? Or a flower stool? Like our video, subscribe to Lalaloo, and click the bell so you don't miss any of our new videos.